you know, staying afloat can be a big challenge in these tough times. That's We're talking about small businesses, but even not just that, nonprofits have it worse. We found one that continues to chug along in the name of cancer treatment and care. Take a look. You know, there are lots of uh, charitable organizations out there, and all of them right now, you know, scrambling to get things done and stay afloat. This is one of my favorites. I bring in Louise and Susan from Hirsch Wellness because you guys, I know you deal a lot with cancer patients, and uh, I lost my father to cancer, so this is very near and dear to me. But let's talk, Louise, let's talk with you first a little bit about what is Hirsch Wellness for people that don't know. Sure, it's a cancer support community here in the Piedmont. And for 12 years, we've been offering free of charge healing arts and wellness programs. So folks can come at no cost and learn a new art activity, participate in yoga, uh, aquatic swimming, um, Tai Chi movement, all kinds of things to help inspire them and keep them well. I know that uh, in the fall, you guys usually have a big event. It's a fall art auction. But Susan, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about this because, you know, the world's a different place and what's the plan for this? And also kind of tell us a little bit about what that event is. Well, that's our major fundraiser for every year. And we're in our 12th year. So we have over 100 local and uh, regional artists that donate artwork. And then we have a silent auction. But as you mentioned, this year is going to be different, so we're probably going to do some of it online and we'll just have to kind of wait and see and auction the way we need to to reach the people we, we want to address. And um, our board of directors has actually raised money and we're doing a challenge. So we'll let you know on Giving Tuesday, May 5th, what that challenge amount will be. And we're hoping that folks will come out and support us and help us raise some money so we can continue to keep our programs free of charge. Very good. You guys do great work. Thanks for taking time with us today. So if you want to help them out, and they, they really do good work, and hopefully this uh, the uh, art sale that they do in the fall can happen, whether it's virtual or in person. But if you want to help them out, look for this story on WFMYNews2.com. I have it up there right now. Maddie, they're good people that do some, you know, it's it's different treatment. It's not so much from a clinical standpoint. It's really more experience with groups and therapy um, and support. So it's a great thing. Uh, and you bring up a good point, Eric. I mean, not only are local businesses having a hard time with this virus right now, nonprofits are suffering as well. So when we are deciding who to support, we should keep them in mind. Yeah, it's, it's actually worse for nonprofits this time because a lot of folks will tighten the purse strings and, and they rely usually solely on fundraising and donations, so help them out.